Hello everybody. Today I'd like to go a little farther with our basic skills. We talked about the importance of finding speed. In the last lesson, we learned a bunch of different tools that we could use to find distance. Today, we'd like to look at a bunch of tools to measure time. Okay, so if we're gonna find speed, we need both of these components. We should know how to get distance using things like meter sticks, using GPS on our phone, using Google Maps, and using some of the new distance measuring features that are built right into the phone. Today, let's focus on time. Okay, so time measuring tools. We wanna to start with a simple stopwatch. So if you have something on your wrist that you have a stopwatch built into, great. If not, I'm sure you have something on your phone. Your phone has uh, built-in stopwatches, and if not, maybe you have a stopwatch just laying around the house, okay? One way or the other, and even on your Chromebook, you can find the stopwatch. So I built a program that's gonna to check to make sure you can use your stopwatch properly since I'm not there to check. So each time you open the program, you'll get totally different um, numbers. So make sure you do this uniquely each time. So get your external stopwatch, time the car as it travels the first 100 meters of the run that's viewed above. So get your stopwatch ready before you actually do this. Okay, when you click on the car, it's going to start the whole process in motion. The car will idle for a second or two just to make sure you're ready with your stopwatch and then it will start moving. Don't start timing until the front of the car reaches the zero. Okay, so if you had your stopwatch at the ready, don't hit it yet. Start timing when the car hits zero. Stop timing when the car reaches 100. The car will continue to move so don't wait for the car to stop. You're gonna stop it when the car hits the proper mark, which is the 100 meter mark. Boom. The computer will have timed it too. It's gonna to check to make sure that you did it right. So you're gonna type in whatever you got when you timed it and hit submit. If you think you messed up, reset and run it again. You're gonna to have to do this a few times. I wanna make sure you're doing it right. Each time the car is gonna have a totally different speed. Okay, so you're gonna to have to time it separately for each run. So type your time in, hit submit. When you're done all the trials, share with me your completion certificate. Make sure when you share that completion certificate, you're sharing uh, the entire thing and make sure you do a legitimate screenshot. Don't just take a picture with your phone. Okay. The second tool you're gonna to use today is one that we're gonna use a lot. Sometimes the events that we're timing take place so quickly that a stopwatch would not give us an accurate result. So Delcy has purchased a tool for you. It is an amazing tool that we'll be using a lot. It's called Video Analysis and it will work on your phone or it will work better probably on your Chromebook. So whichever device you want to use is fine with me. Just click on this link and when you do, it will open up the uh, video analysis app and it will log you in with Delcy's um, purchase keyword. Okay, when it loads up, there will be graphs and a data table. Click up here and actually get rid of them. So click there, turn off the graph, turn off the data table. We don't need those yet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna time Peyton kicking a soccer ball, just like we saw Alex Morgan. So we find the frame where the ball first leaves her foot, and we see that happened at a time of 0.7 seconds. We then get the time where the ball reaches the goalie, and we see that's a time of 1.4 seconds. So 1.4 is when it ended, 0.7 is where it started. So conveniently, it works out that that ball took 0.7 seconds to travel that distance. Way more accurate 
than a stopwatch. You can precision locate each frame where the ball is first kicked, where the ball reaches the goal. You're gonna pick anything you want. So make a video of something personal, have it something that happens really quick, maybe the cat running across the room, I don't care, kick a soccer ball, hit a baseball, go out and have some fun, use the tennis racket, see how quickly the ball reaches the other side where the opponent is, get a little video of it, bring it back to your phone or to your Chromebook, use the analysis tool, and find out how long an event took, uh, took to take place, okay? So if you have any problems, let me know. You only have two things to do today, so this is just a one-day activity. If you have any problems, do not hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you.